Hi, my name is Leslie Canarian. I am Reader Conversations Librarian at the Rogers Public Library. This video is for the May Take It, Make It craft for adults. We are making small baskets for May Day or Mother's Day. This is a very easy project. It does take considerable investment of time, however, so you, this might be something that would be great to do while you're watching a, a movie or listening to an audiobook. You will get in your kit two plastic cups. The reason you're getting two is just in case one breaks, though you can certainly go ahead and get more supplies and make as many baskets as you want. You're gonna take scissors, not your good sewing scissors. This is not going to be nice to your scissors. Uh, and cut slits from the edge to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom. However many you want to do is up to you. The important thing is you want to end up with an odd number of slats when you're done, because that means that when you start weaving the string around them, it will uh, alternate on the sides and make for a better basket weave. So I recommend six, seven, eight perhaps cuts. It's really up to you. You want them to be between a half an inch and an inch wide. If they're uneven, it just makes it look a little more rustic and it's perfectly cool. So let's get started. It usually works out well to start from one side and then alternate sides. That makes it easier to figure out that you're, you've got the right numbers. So you can see how this opens out sort of like a flower. Then you've got a long section of jute in your kit. You'll have about 60 or more feet in there. Start by making a nice knot at one end. And starting anywhere, that's just to give you a little bit of an anchor point. Bring it all the way down to the bottom and then start going outside, inside, outside, inside, alternating back and forth, as you can see. You want to pull and make sure you bring that string all the way down to the bottom. And you can see how like many traditional type handicrafts, this is just going to be a lot of repetition. The important thing is not to skip any and to pull it. Keep pulling your jute string tight down to the bottom so you get a nice weave. And you're gonna do that, keep doing that until, oh, well, you get about halfway. You can see what this looks like as, as, as the project goes on. At this point, you're gonna wanna attach your handles to your basket. I tried a couple of different ways. Glue and hot glue really doesn't work. Uh, I found it. Frankly, the easiest thing to do is just tape the handle in place because the string is gonna go over it anyhow and so it's going to be total, the tape will become totally invisible. Uh, you'll have two pipe cleaners in your kit. So we're just gonna twist those together. Kind of get a nice pretty design. And we'll just take ordinary uh, masking tape I used. We'll go ahead and tape the handle going, you know, a good inch down. So make it nice and secure. And wrap the tape around the slat. Keep it in place. The string will also help uh, when you uh, get to weaving to that point to make sure that the, these handles are nice and, and in place. Get another piece of tape and go to the other side, the opposite slot. Just go ahead. And tape this in place. And 
And at this point, you can just go on and continue with your weaving. Note, you're gonna have to go around the handles. But if you feel like it, one of the options I put under pick it up a notch is if you wanna add like a little pop of color to the weave of your basket, you could get some string or even yarn, if you like, of a color of your choice. And I'm just gonna cut the jute and tie the string in. I picked a pink that kind of matches the uh, handles. Then you'll want to trim the ends. Ideally, you'll have uh, measured it so that the knot is on the inside of your basket. But if it's not, it's not a big deal. And we're just gonna go and weave a couple of uh, times around with a colored string or yarn to make a pretty accent stripe in the design. One of the things you'll find as you're working back and forth with moving the slats back and forth, this is pretty sturdy plastic, but it's not, you know, industrial strength. So your uh, slats are gonna pull apart a little. They might overlap. They might get cracks on them. These are not problems. They will just add a little interesting texture to your final basket. However, you do want to be careful, especially if you get sharp cracks in your plastic, that you're not cutting yourself on them. And also, of course, that your string doesn't get caught on the little cracks because you want to make sure it's pulled up snug against the layer below. You can make multiple stripes or different colored stripes that that's really up to you. But I think I want to keep this one kind of simple. So I'll just stop there with that nice thin pink stripe and tie back my regular jute. It doesn't have to be a strong knot, just enough to keep things in place. The nice thing about weaving is it's very self-reinforcing. Cut off the ends and we'll just go back to the regular pattern. Once again, you want to keep that knot on the inside of the basket. It just looks a little nicer that way. It is a little bit of a pain having to work around this handle, but the nice thing about it, it is that it also lets you say, oh yeah, I finished another round. You can see that just a little bit snapped off there. If I was more towards the beginning of this project, I might just say, eh, and go and go use my backup plastic cup. But frankly, this close to the end, it's fine. It'll work out. You can also see that for some incomprehensible reason, it's like, I know that these slats all started the same length because they're all cut from the same cup, but yet somehow some of them seem to be come out taller than others. And I don't know why that happened, but it ha it's happened with every single time I've, uh, every single basket I've done practicing for this project. So it's just the way it works out. It's all right, because we've got another way to finish up the edges. And so it will all look nice and smooth. All right, we can see how this one slat seems to be much shorter than the others but I still want to keep weaving as much as I can on the other slats. So I'm just going to go through and go around and reverse directions for a few rows so I can get some more height on the other slats. Alrighty, this looks like about as, as high as that's gonna let us go. So I'm gonna cut off my string and once again, make a knot at the end just to anchor it. And let's just pull that through that last slot and trim it. All right, we're almost done. Now we just want to finish up that basket with a nice little ribbon edge. You should have in your kit a piece of ribbon that sort of more or less corresponds to the colors of uh, the other colors you've got going on. 
You can use regular craft glue to, to uh, glue this on, that works. But I'm gonna go with a glue gun because it's a little bit faster and a little bit more secure. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze a drop here on the end and start where the handle is. Please be careful with this. I mean, I burned myself on hot glue so many times, but I don't want any of you to do that. And just go and glue your ribbon sort of over the rim there. So it'll make a nice, neat edge. Just kind of line it up with the edge, such as it is. I know you've got a irregular edge. And then kind of fo fold it over the top. There we go. All right, and when I reach the end, I'll just cut off a nice, neat, beveled edge. And wrap it around. And you can even go fancier decorating your basket, your May Day basket if you like. You can put ribbons around the handle, you can tie them into bows. You can cut a circle of fabric and match the size of the bottom and drop it in there with a spot of glue. I just think having a clear bottom looks kind of neat, so I, I didn't bother to do that. And of course, once you have a May basket or a Mother's Day basket, the next best thing to do is fill it with flowers or perhaps a little bit of chocolate so you can give it to your favorite someone. Once again, please post your creations online and Next month is June, and I will be off for June and July, be so all the other talented members of the Rogers Public Library staff can bring you crafts as part of our summer reading programs. But I uh, hope to be back with a new craft for you in September. <laughs>